good evening YouTube so I spent the night last night at Elm Mott Texas left there the, um, I guess I don't know sometime this afternoon uh, early this afternoon and went on down to Temple Texas uh, had to be there by 2 30 p.m. to unload and so uh, got unloaded there and I think it was around 5 o'clock or so when I got out of there central time and they, when, as soon as I sent the empty message they immediately uh, sent a uh, load that uh, picked up in Austin that was already loaded and then that load uh, delivers to Memphis, Tennessee on uh, the 2nd at 9 a.m. and so uh, uh, Texas, uh, parts of Texas were receiving uh, some freezing rain, regular rain, uh, even snow in West Texas in some places and so uh, Central Texas including uh, anywhere from Austin to uh, Dallas, uh, you know, it's maybe it's sort of possibly threatened with some light freezing rain. Uh, never did see any. I did see a little bit of just a few little sprinkles here and there. Not, but the temperature was uh, that I saw, at least on the truck thermometer, was at least five degrees uh, above freezing that was the coldest that I saw so no freezing temperatures where I was at uh, but in any case I went ahead and uh, went as far as I could after I left Austin so I've made it to uh, Prescott Arkansas and that leaves me with uh, a little under let's say roughly 240 miles or so give or take a few miles from here to uh, Memphis and I'll do that uh, when I leave here uh, tomorrow afternoon uh, actually tomorrow is today because it's already 3 a.m. on the 1st so uh, anyway it's about the same temperature here but I don't think there's any rain in the forecast at all for uh, this part of Arkansas, southeastern, southwestern rather, Ar Arkansas, uh, don't think there's any rain in the forecast that I know of, at least that I could find, and so, and even if it did, even if I had spent the night somewhere in uh, Texas and they'd, and they'd gotten some freezing rain overnight, uh, in all of the places, uh, the daytime high uh, for New Year's Day was supposed to be, uh, well above freezing so but I just decided you know since I could that I would just go ahead and uh, uh, come as uh, far as I could and uh, you know before I ran out of time and so I came here and uh, was able to make it here to Prescott Arkansas that's about 45 44 miles uh, into Arkansas it's exit 44 along uh, interstate 30 uh, once you cross uh, from Texas into uh, uh, or Texarkana, there's a Texarkana, Arkansas, or to Texas and then Texarkana, Arkansas, and then you cross the state line and uh, 40, 44 miles in. So, uh, anyway, it's just it's been all day long. The temperature's been uh, in the 30s. I think the warmest temperature I saw maybe was about 40 degrees, but uh, mostly they were you know it was like 39 uh, 39 degrees is a really common temperature and that's probably what it is right here I don't think I specifically looked uh, when I stopped but it's probably you know I think it's around 39 degrees and it's just it's been breezy all day a little bit of wind coming from the north and uh, so it's definitely cool it's not as bad as obviously it's not as bad as it uh, could be if the temperature was quite you know a few degrees lower you'd get worse wind chill but as it is it's uh you definitely need a jacket if you're going to be outside <laughs> so 
Anyway, uh, from Prescott, Arkansas, I'll catch you later.